Well, we have 220 docks here on five fingers. We have A pier, B pier, C, D, and E. We're a you know chunk of land right on the water, and the rainwater is eventually going to end up in the river. So we'll try and clean it up as best we can. So the project that we have called Advancing Stormwater Management at Marinas in the Great Lakes, ultimately the goal is to help marinas increase their adoption of stormwater management tools so that they can better improve water quality literally at the water's edge. This offers us an opportunity to intercept not only the pollution that marinas may be generating on site, but that they may be receiving from neighboring communities. It offers us the opportunity for them to do more than their fair share, get credit for it, get recognition for it, and then through this program, show some models of how green infrastructure can be adapted and implemented in a marina setting. There's a, a black topped curb there that separates the water runoff from the parking lot into two different types of biofilter systems. Green infrastructure is anything put into place to manage stormwater that uses things like plants and modified soil to treat the water that's coming off of things like roofs and sidewalks. So, you know, your rain gardens at your house, the wetland basin here. So Sea Grant's main role, as it almost always is, is facilitation, coordination, and leveraging partnerships. The Solberg families that own and operate these marinas have actually been with the Ohio Clean Marinas program and Ohio Sea Grant since we started. They got excited about it, helped us innovate, helped us brainstorm, helped us really make sure that what we were putting together was for a marina. We know boats, we know marinas, we don't know anything about you know, filtering systems and all that. And Sarah come in and she brought the right people on board for that. She just put all the pieces together for us. These marinas, they're super busy. And for them to have time away from their marina management to actually try to apply for a grant uh, through the Great Lakes Protection Fund, they're probably not very familiar with it and they probably just don't have any staff. So the Michigan Sea Grant Research Manager was able to champion that and help get a multi-state demonstration project going. Again, encouraging marinas, these are things that can be done in other communities. All three of the projects really push the envelope on how we design these systems as engineers. We're going outside of the norm to try to understand, can we make this a little bit more affordable? Can we make it a little bit smaller and still get the same performance? This project's helping to shape design guidance for stormwater controls regionally across the Great Lakes Basin. So we're here at Barker's Island Marina, which is the largest marina on Lake Superior. It's a critical piece of our economy here locally in the Duluth Superior area. As part of the clean marina process, we knew that we had funding and technical support to provide, and we approached the marina to see if they'd be interested in installing these innovative green infrastructure practices on the property. Eric Thomas, the marina owner, was willing to work with us over a couple of years to make sure that it was a success and in the meantime also become a certified clean marina. When they came to us and said, hey, we've got a grant or we have funding and we have design and ideas that could help you protect the lake, you know, we welcome them with open arms. We see benefits to that right now. You know, is there washing boats behind us? In the old days, that wash water would have gone right into the lake. It doesn't anymore. You know, we are an industrial site. We've got equipment, machines, dust, grime. If it rains, that water is channeled from this whole end of the island into this built wetland. We're A, trying to get the water to soak in. B, we're trying to slow the water down as it rushes into the lake. And any contaminants we're getting stop here. Honestly, this is my favorite project I think I've been a part of. I've done some really neat stuff in my role with the City of Superior and uh, you work on a site and it's in town. You know where that water's going, but here you can see where it actually leaves a site and where it enters our lake. Everyone had a common mission and uh, to see it executed was awesome. Marinas in here in Northwest Michigan and in, in local coastal communities are like their economic engine. People love to come here. They bring their sailboats, their recreational boats. They come to do charter fishing. Elk Rapids Marina is a great designated clean marina. It's one of the larger kind of public marinas in, in Northwest Lower Michigan. It always had a waiting list. 
we were able to actually install this project here in Elk Rapids, as well as we had some money that was still available in the grant. So Michigan was able to actually install a second installation in Charlevoix Marina. I think that the more hands and eyes that are on a project, the easier it is to have that project end up being really successful. So I think that having such a diverse group of people working on this project really helped to address community needs. A lot of the people on this project from all the states involved, we truly love what we do. We truly want to make a difference. I personally believe that stormwater management goals will not be achieved alone by implementing green infrastructure in public areas. And so we need to increase our use of public-private partnerships to achieve our water quality goals. And so I'm hopeful that this can be an example of a public-private partnership that we can use to continue to push the envelope on that in the future.